We're starting this hour with a developing story in France. I'm Elizabeth with the Grid Network. A passenger jet carrying 150 people crashed in the French Alps on Tuesday. Officials searching the crash site do not expect to find survivors. These images of the command post are coming in from France24.com. German Wings Flight 9525 left Barcelona, Spain at 10.01 a.m. local time for Dusseldorf, Germany and went down about 430 miles south-southeast of Paris. The plane is a 24-year-old Airbus A320 that was operated by German Wings, which is owned by Lufthansa. Here is what we know so far. Lufthansa-owned German Wings Flight 9525 was carrying 144 passengers and six crew members. The Airbus A320 crashed in mid-flight. Its descent from 38,000 feet took eight minutes. Cause of crash is unknown, but search teams have located a black box from the plane. Of course, stay with the grid here for the latest on this developing story. A co-worker at the Don Ernesto Pizzeria, Enzo Caccielli, hand delivered a pizza to Pope Francis. He jumped over the barrier and risked getting taken out by one of the Pope's security entourage, but Pope Francis, of course, graciously accepted the delicious gift. Caccielli was thrilled. Check out the fun, fun clip right here. Baba, 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 Welcome back to the Grid Network as we bring you the hottest headlines going on in Hollywood. And yes, it is Justin Bieber news time. Justin Bieber has announced that he's returning to the UK to headline a festival. Last time he was in the area, Bieber, I refuse to call him Biebs, ended up causing trouble by turning up late to shows and getting into trust with photographers. Hopefully this time around he's grown up a bit and it's an enjoyable experience for all of his fans. He will be headlining the Fusion Festival in Birmingham on August 28th this summer, playing the first of the three-day event with the rest of the lineup including Tinny Tempa, Rixton, DJ Fresh, and Fuse ODG. All right, now Aaron is in a very special spot today, so he will be filling you guys in on what's hot in tech and gaming from his very own game room. Elizabeth, all right, you guys, we all know that Twitch is big, and I mean really big. It's actually the fourth largest stream thing on the internet, just being beaten out by Google, Apple, and Netflix. So when something happens, like what happened yesterday, a security breach, Netflix, Netflix, not Netflix, Twitch has to react really fast. So what are they doing? Well, you'll notice if you did try to sign on a little bit later in the day, yesterday or today, you are going to be forced, no, this is not optional, to change your password, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But I do know that a lot of people do like to keep their passwords unison. So you might have to just add another password to your long list of all medias and everything we use these days where we do our passwords. But I will say, it's also a little smart to change your passwords up once in a while. So I guess it's not really that big of a deal. But let me know if you guys care or let me know down in the comments below what your password is so I can hack into it. It's time to go to gaming, where we obviously belong. The first single player DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition is finally here and it is called Jaws of Hacken or Jaws of Hakon. I wish it was just Jaws. That'd be really cool for them to put Jaws in Dragon Age. You're gonna need a bigger boat. So it is out today for the Xbox One and the PC. Now get this, here's a little catch, as everything has a catch nowadays. If you're on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 or the PS4, you're gonna have to wait for the DLC. It is not out yet because of some exclusivity deal that took place. Don't you guys just love all these exclusivity deals and what they're doing to gaming? It's just my favorite. The DLC was a little bit of a surprise because we did get a tweet yesterday from Dragon Age letting us know this DLC is coming, but it was a very vague tweet, not really giving anyone any for sure, so there's a lot of speculation, but it's here. Are you playing it? Are you enjoying it? Let me know, and that's it from us here this hour at The Grid Network, and I'm Aaron, and I'll talk to you guys next time.